Oh, hi. You're seeing this right. I got to walk on stage with Sunless Khan and Musty to take on a team of professional coaches in front of 30,000 viewers. So let me tell you the story of my biggest moment in my Rocket League career. This one's gonna be a movie, so buckle up and enjoy the ride. This all happened at this year's Gamers 8 tournament, in which the best teams in the world compete for 2 million dollars. So to think that I was invited to play a show match on that very same stage was pretty nerve wracking. But more on that later, because this wouldn't actually happen until the next day. So first, let's make our way to Riyadh, where this would all take place. So after meeting Musty at the airport, we drove to our hotel and Musty, do you have anything to say? <clears throat> yeah, we are. Uh, uh. What are you doing? You're not the thinker! So yeah, um, when we finally made our way to the hotel, we've been told that there was a player lounge where basically all the pro players were hanging out and playing games, and the boys from Rule 1 thought it'd be funny if Musty and I 1v1 did ping pong. So let's do this. Uh, so it was a good game overall. I actually won 12 to 1. So after that pure annihilation against Musty, we decided to play split screen to warm up for our big day. Especially because Sunless hadn't even arrived at the hotel yet. We're all slacking so hard, oh my god. Hey, we're playing twos right now. I'm in the Merc, he's in the Octane. We're totally not in a flat lobby. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Alright, is that camera shake on you? Sorry, I, <laughs> I was testing to see if my, my air roll worked. Dude, can we talk about how he's playing with camera shake on? Uh, I, have, I have camera shake, I have camera shake. I got, I got, I got. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> hey, keep the good work, man. Keep the good work. I'm feeling double. Oh, my boy! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got, I got, the, I got And with that, we finally get our first win in the Middle East. Is this a sign of better things to come? I guess we'll find out soon, but first, I got news that Sunless finally made it to the hotel and there was one thing I needed to ask him. Alright Sunless, for this event, my viewers decided that I should support Rule 1 for this entire event. Good job, Bertsy viewers. <laughs> so my question is, can I get a jersey? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if we have a jersey here already for you. Wow, betrayed by my own teammate. This now means I shall forever support OSM's team instead. You had your chance, Sunless. Okay, okay calm down. I'm, I'm only joking, but we do actually have OSM kicking off the Gamers 8 tournament, so you know I gotta support my boy. But before we head over there, the way the Gamers 8 tournament works is that it's a crew battles format, meaning teams play a variety of game modes in which they can pick and choose their strongest teams for each matchup. So with that out of the way, Let's head to the venue and experience day one of the Gamers 8 tournament. Musty, can you show me your pass real quick? Sure, bro. What is that? I was really excited to be first day of Gamers 8, man. <laughs> and when we arrived to the venue, it was just mere moments before OSM's 1v1 against none other than AJ from Optic Gaming. Let's ask Musty who he believes will come victorious. Have you played against AJ, bro? That guy's a Have you played bro. against OSM? You know, they're, they're both good players, but uh, you know, AJ is a dippy. Yeah, you would, know, you would know. And boy, was I right, because look at this. And OSM is no slouch at all at 1v1. One of the best players, historically. Shoots! Gladiators have turned this one around. A monumental lead for the team from APAC. AJ is falling for everything OSM is doing right now. And it only really went downhill from there for AJ, as OSM would win 5-2 in total and secure 
their only win in the series as they went on to lose the threes and twos matchups. Well, rip awesome. You guys had a good run. <laughs> Nonetheless, we headed back to the hotel and decided to play some football before our big day tomorrow. And oh my lord, I popped off. We started with a little 3v3 and Sunless is so incredibly lucky this nutmeg was just off camera. Oh, shit. I'm so glad that wasn't on camera. And he was right, but it didn't stop me from getting one on my friend right after it. Oh, I was feeling it. And I even got my revenge on Sunless by faking him IRL. So after that quick warm up, it was time for the real event. No, not, not that. <laughs> we did the real life crossbar challenge. I lost to Musty last year, so I knew what I had to do this time around. So here's the rules. Hey gamer, today we're in Saudi Arabia. We're gonna be doing the crossbar challenge with Sunless. Hi, I'm Sunless. And with Mercy. Hi, I'm Mercy. We have a crossbar right behind us. We're gonna be trying to hit the cross... <coughs> Yeah, the last person to hit the crossbar is eliminated, and they bend over, and the goal, we all get a chance to boot the ball at him. Let's get into it. And it's round one. It's all yours, Sunless. All right, crossbar challenge, attempt number one. I'm sorry, Musty. On to round number two. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I have to hit it. Punishment. And with that, we both took turns in Musty's unfortunate punishment. Oh god. No <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Let's get a replay on that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Left cheek, bro. Oh my god. Oh. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Huh? Shut up, bro. <laughs> Just do it. And with that, we decided to cool off before our big day tomorrow. Can you explain what just happened? So we were just trying to order like a little bit of ice cream, but there's some language barrier here, so we accidentally spent like 200 sar, and we got a whole buffet of ice cream. It's a good problem to have, I guess. <laughs> so come next morning, it was the day of our show match, so we fueled up on some traditional Saudi food and headed to the venue early to get some practice in the gaming room before we would actually go on stage. And apparently Gamers8 decided to give us a surprise box to hype us up for the show match itself. Why is it so heavy? Because there's heavy things in there. Oh my god. Okay. And let's dive in. I'm gonna give you guys an exclusive crate opening. So for our first spin of the day, we have some titanium white Adidas shoes with custom Gamers 8 details. Alright, thank you Adidas, my go-to brand. Thank you Adidas. <laughs> Bro such a sell out. I was thanking Adidas. I was wearing Nike. <laughs> Next up for our spin number two, we have some import level ear pods by The Nothing Brand. Also, with a neat little Gamers 8 engravement. Why is it listening Gamers so much? Eight, what? Bro. And to finish it off, and you won't believe this, a black market crystal trophy with an octane inside. What? Uh, what, what is life? This is insane. This is gonna be what we're playing for. Oh yeah. If we win the tournament, we get to lift this. We got our participation trophies, man. We're just happy to be here. You know, as long as we're having fun, that's all that matters. Okay, not exactly, because I do want to win that show match, believe it or not. So we did what we had to do and queued some twos, because Sunless was too busy cheering for rule one, even though they were on B stream and not even on stage. <laughs> what a fanboy. And the games went surprisingly well. We scored banger after banger and, you know, got some of that rust off as you will. 
We even practiced the goal celebration for the stage. So when Rule 1 ultimately swept Team Secret after a brutal 1v1 from R RW9? Is that how you say it? Let's ask this viewer actually. How, how do you pronounce RW9? And then Sunless finally joined us and we decided to practice some 1v1s. You know, just in case they made us play 1s, 2s and 3s as well. Just like the pro teams do at Gamers 8. And I was feeling pretty confident in my 1v1s as I got the most wins out of the trio. And with a successful session behind us, we headed back to the venue for a final interview before our big debut. This is the moment when 30,000 live viewers saw us on stream for the first time. Good morning, everybody. It's Gamers 8 Day here, and well, we've got a surprise show match for you guys. It's the creators versus Beefy, and we've got the three top creators in Rocket League here, Saudi Arabia and Riyadh, about to compete on land. Musty, we're throwing this one to you. I've done maybe a thousand Musty flicks just to practice for this. Guarantee you I'm hitting a Musty flick on my land debut. Guarantee. There we go. Well, Mercy, you're up next. You were here last year. You didn't compete on land. How excited are you for your debut? I'm very excited. I mean, I have a lot of professional coaching from the likes of OSM, Raziers. I'm feeling it today, so I'm excited. And who's going in for the 1v1? That's what I, Who am I supposed to look at for this? Okay, well, I think we all know the answer here. If, if there's a 1v1, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, well, what do you want practice? What do you mean? Mercy has been peaking, actually. <laughs> he was destroying us. All right, apparently Mercy's peaking. Musty's gonna hit Musty. Sunless is gonna be on the field, so make sure you watch for him. And guys, the match is gonna start soon, so don't go anywhere and enjoy the games. So let's take this moment to quickly learn about our opponents. We'd be playing against a full team of coaches. We have Corrupted G, a very known former pro player. Fasi, coach of Ninjas of Pajamas, who's still incredibly high ranked as he used to be a pro only a year ago. And finally, Andy Demandy. He's he's very happy to be here. Let's hear what they had to say about us. We'll talk about this one. What are your feelings going up against creators? Oh, they create for a reason, we coach for a reason. I have to show them the difference. That's crazy. Meanwhile, we were being shown how to do our entrance on stage, how to move, where to move, and so on. We also had time to set up our PCs, you know, logging into our accounts and everything. And with that, it was time for our entrance. Let's get this show match underway. Please welcome to the stage, Team Beefy and the Creators. <laughs> This is quite literally the biggest moment of my career. Like, what even is life, bro? So this was gonna be a best of three, and uh, let's just jump into the action. Good luck. All right, let's go, boys. All right, I got it. I got it. Back left. I'm back left. Kidding, kidding. I'm kidding, bro. What are you? I'm, I'm going to the kickoff. Oh, okay. okay. I thought it was the wrong kickoff. Every time, every time. So when we finally composed ourselves, we were honestly holding it down pretty well. Yeah, not not quite the best, but I feel like it's been a strong start for the creators. I was a little nervous Beefy was going to come out kind of swinging on them. And it didn't take long until this happened. If your favorite creator may well not be as infallible as you think. A great flick from Musty, not a Musty flick. Farsi, what a judgment, Sunless. Goal number one, baby. We actually found the first goal. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Nice! Oh, come oh, on! Oh, oh, oh. My boy! It's so easy! Let's go! Oh, let's go! Sunless gets the first goal. Fancy with a great pass. Set to the Mandy there, just a smidge too late. Mercy trying to fake out Crop to G. That would be an absolute clip if he hits that. But Fancy right in his face, off the backboard. It's gonna be Mercy. Excuse me? Who? It's gonna be Mercy. Okay, guys, I'm I'm rebranding. It's over. <laughs> Anyway, it wasn't long until the coaches managed to equalize the game after a pretty unlucky bounce from our perspective. And right about here is where I realized, yeah, maybe the nerves were a little high. Bruh, I didn't even see the goal was open. 
boys, you got to get someone else going. That's going to be an open net <laughs> miss from Mertzi. Clip it, clip it, everybody. Make sure that he <laughs> never lives that one down. And it only got worse, as not much later, this happened. He goes up for the double. He misses high. And the money there to clear. He misses as well. Call it an alley, alley, alley. Oop. All right, all right. We're good, we're good, we're good. One minute, one minute, one minute. Come on. This is, this is actually really close. I got it, I got it. Actually, yeah. Oh, that's a good touch high though. Sunless is there. Go central. No ah, shot. Ah. No boost. Come on, come on. We got this. 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 We got it. So that's game one. Much closer than we anticipated, but we really didn't have any opportunities. Next game, we thought we'd try to open up the game a bit more by being a lot more aggressive. So, oh my god, of course they showed this in a replay again. I, I think they can do it. They didn't look bad by any means. Oh no, that was much closer than we thought. I yeah. thought there was going to be a plus nine goal difference. Hey, never say never, bro. <laughs> On to game number two. You can, you can you have to I'm going to be safe. I'm not going to go up as high. Like, I, yeah, bro, I need so I will stay back. I know, I know, I know. You can be aggressive. I need some Travis Scott in here, bro. I know. I need to listen to the music. And we started this game a lot better than the last one and put a lot of pressure early on. Here, I really thought we could have gone a goal up, but. So, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. All good, all good. Pass. Bro, pass. <laughs> and soon after that, a massive and honestly surprising positioning error would leave our goal wide open for a counter-attack and we're one goal down after a minute of pressure from our side. I tried to oh, my oh, my God. God. <laughs> but worry not, because I came clutch with the 2020 vision and passed. I I passed the ball. That's fine. Free, free, free. Pass. Back. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Sunless, you're not just on the field, my man. You're scoring goals, incredible pass and play. That, that's what friends are for, right? These mm -hmm. two got the synergy of anybody out there. And creators, they've tied things up in game number two. Now, I shouldn't speak too soon because literally a few seconds later, I had this howler. Um, skip. So to make up for that, I decided to use my incredible once-in-a-generation vision to give Sunless an easy tap-in. Only few know of this passing trick. They've got such a cute little handshake too. Look at them go. <laughs> you know they practiced it. You know they practiced it. <laughs> of course we did, but that's beside the point because everything went downhill from here. And for this goal, Twitch chat went in on me so hard, but what the stream didn't show was... Yep. <laughs> and if that wasn't enough, the next goal basically sealed the deal. Keeps the creators in this. <laughs> Mercy, <laughs> my man. What was that? Oh, oh not the no. Okay, bro. I see the casters don't want to see a young man thrive because they're clearly ops today. But listen to the team comes. Guess who called this shot? Got I, got it. It. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm here. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> we're good. We're good. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. God, crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> but I wasn't gonna leave on a downer. With just one second left on the clock, I had an idea. Okay, I'm gonna force kickoff. Go, we can do it. We can do this. We can do this. <laughs> yeah! 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 Oh, and the handshakes, the hug, the celebration as if they won, because in my book they did. Oh, they're so happy, they're elated. Playing on the stage must be genuinely so sick as well. On that stage too, even if you lose, they're very happy. So yeah, we got swept, but honestly, we were never gonna win against former pro players. Let's be real for a second. This was the most fun I had in my whole career, and I'll never forget this. Genuinely thank you, Gamers8. But this was so much more exhausting than we thought it'd be, so we decided to cool off a little in the boulevard, which is basically an entire strip full of activities, food and parks just outside the venue. And we were excited to hear that they organized a go-kart session, which we gladly took. And I'm not gonna lie, this was my first time and I, I broke the record of the, the fastest driver to, to ever drive. Um, yeah, so <laughs> we also did a one aside with Musty playing football, but bro, it was so hard to play because of the heat. But hey, I got this goal against Musty at least, which, which is a dub, you know, two, two nutmegs, we'll take it. The game ended 5-4 in favor of Musty, but honestly, bro, I, I was just happy it was over. It, I could not walk anymore. <laughs> I'll admit I'm past my football prime.
So yeah, um, you're probably wondering what happened to the tournament. Um, basically, Rule 1 just kept winning the whole time. They 4 0 Standing World Champions Vitality, and in the 1v1, it was Zen against Ravas, and bro, like, Zen lost. Like, how is that even possible? I guess Ravas is the new Zen now. And of course, I was rooting for Rule 1 this whole time. USA! USA! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Sunlees! Let's go! What's your name? Uh, I'm Mercy, I'm Mercy. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Dude, epic troll, man. Let him here! Troll! You said let them So of course after that they went on to the grand finals and their opponents were none other than version 1. And this was a really fun grand finals because after what rule 1 had done to their opponents so far, nobody expected rule 1 to struggle. Like this was a best of 7 of course and they lost the first 3v3 which, you know, can happen. I would say that's definitely version 1's strongest game mode. But when it came to the 1v1, you could tell that things were definitely not gonna be easy for rule 1 because what many expected to be a clear-cut win for Ravas ended up being a nail-biter with an overtime win for rule 1. They were definitely looking a little shaky. But it was from here on onwards where things really took a bad turn for rule 1. They lost yet another 3v3 to make it 2-1 in the series, followed by a massive loss in the 2v2 as the game ended 5-0 in favor of version 1. This made it 3-1 and match point for version 1, and the boys from rule 1 knew they had to win the next game, which unfortunately was another 3v3. This game was unbelievable. The boys kept it cool for the entire game and managed to hold a 3-2 lead going into game number 6. Except... I lied. Daniel, does he get the shot? Oh! He makes it! And come! Put it away! <laughs> Two seconds left! Two seconds left! And version 1 was never gonna lose the overtime, let's, let's be honest. They thought they were headed to game 6, but V1 have closed the door again on another incredible save. Now here comes Daniel the other way. Flip reset, it's oh! open! And yeah, massive congratulations to version 1 for winning this year's Gamers 8 tournament. And also big shout out to Rule 1 and Sunless Khan and Incivic because they've done an incredible thing here and it shouldn't go uncredited. So with the finals out of the way, we had one final day and decided to do what many were waiting for. So right now we're gonna hop on Jeeps and I think we're gonna be driving on the desert. And brother, I'm telling you, it was way too hot. Like, what am I doing here? I lived in Germany for the last 20 years. This is not my natural habitat, bro. Welcome, guys, to the top 10 Rocket League moments. Number 10, dune buggying in the dunes in Saudi Arabia. Number nine. <laughs> Number nine. Squishy double flip reset on Utopia Coliseum. Very few players can hit the double flip reset, but Squishy is one of them. Actually, fun fact, Torment scored, but it counted for Squishy because he set it up. I didn't even know this guy was here, bro. The other one Who's this guy? Who invited this Who guy? Is it? Who are you, bro? At least they organized ATVs for us to cool down with, but with that, we pretty much conclude this year's Gamers 8. That's how you play Rocket League. Subscribe and like, and see you next time. Thank you to Gamers8 <laughs> for this opportunity, and I know for a fact that next year is gonna be even bigger. They've been absolutely incredible organizing these and giving us once-in-a-lifetime opportunities year after year. Um, if you're curious about last year's Gamers8, I'll have the video linked at the end of this video. And yeah, thanks for watching, and if you made it this far, why not subscribe? I feel like this is the perfect time, we just reached 1.4 million subscribers, so let's start the journey to 1.5. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video.